Second tempo sets bring the hitter in earlier and are often used as part of a combination attack involving more than one hitter. First tempo, or quick sets, require the hitter to be in the air as the ball leaves the setter's hands and should be contacted as the ball is travelling in an upwards direction. Here we see the difference in body posture between passing and digging. The wider base allows us to try to get the hips lower than the ball on contact. The digger moves to where they think the ball is going and at the moment the hitter contacts the ball, the digger stops, hops and drops. And here we see a couple of different ways in which we can help our players to get their hips below the ball. Digging a ball that is dropping in front of you can be retrieved by driving the arms forward and dropping to both knees. In some circumstances, bending the elbows to dig a ball is a good way to ensure that the ball stays on your side of the court. Good, quick movement and a determination to keep the ball off the floor no matter what are key qualities of a good defensive player. Run-throughs use the momentum of forward movement to create the pass. It is important that the hips face the target every contact, no matter which direction the ball is coming from. When blocking, the palms of the hands are pressed over the net and in the direction of middle back. A strong core is important, so abdominals are pulled in as the hands reach over. The tapping of arms or arm by a partner helps the player get the feel of pressing hand or hands over the net and not flapping their arms. Here, the coach can give a player the sensation of what a good block feels like, something many young players never experience. Here we see the sidestep footwork used for adjustment over short distances. The arms are kept raised in this instance. Cross-step footwork 
for longer distances using step out, cross step and jump. Note how the knees bend to cushion landings. See how the final step points at the net to ensure the hips are in the right direction. Cross step footwork starting with the inside foot. Notice how the arms swing to help with the elevation of the jump. 